Right, to make this Kyra board now, the set of two, it's a bit more involved, so check out my last video if you haven't already. Same thing, I've got the router on the jig, so it's a piece of wood, a hole for the router to go, secured. We will cut the outer arch first, boards clamped down, we'll screw this in, get the first arch going. Now this is 18mm or 3 quarter inch for you Americans. I'm going to do this in about three passes, I don't want to strain the router too much or the bits. So about 6mm each time and then we'll go from there. Okay, to do the second arch now, this is a very important step. What I've done here, I used this hole initially, but I want my hollow arch now to be about six inches wide, completely up to you what you decide. So I've now moved the center hole six and a quarter inches closer to the router. Another thing very important to remember, to mark where you want to stop because after the curve we want to go straight which we'll do later but if you forget that step or miss mark it you'll end up cutting a curve which is going round and it will be a complete waste of a board to be honest There is the line that we've just rattled out. If I put it back a bit. Looking good so far, you can see that they stop where they're gonna go straight. I've clamped down this just to use as a straight edge. I may also just clamp down another piece. And as I'm moving the router, I've got a clear guide and hopefully the line will just continue going straight. And there is the hollow arch. I'll give you a better view in a second. And as you can see, left over. So using the same method now, I'm making the legs and the base out of the bottom piece for both boards. Right, so we've got our arch and we've got the two bottom halves as well. So the next step now is just to make some legs. They're going to be really simple on this and I'll show you what hinges I've got for those. Spacers for the standard hinges. Hinge spacers, very similar to all the others. I've got a piece here that's 35 millimeters wide and then I'm gonna chop it down to 75 millimeter lengths so just need four of these this time around and as you can see the hinges will sit on top all right from the scraps that we had I've cut a piece that's 45 centimeters long that's roughly it can be up to you what you think will be best and then I'm going to cut this down into two pieces that are 14 centimeters wide. So here is the bracket that I want to use. As you can see, this folds up, it locks, and then it's got a quick release system. So I'll have that about there. Now these are the legs I made earlier, or the bases. And I'm just going to cut a bit off of here and have it underneath. Again, it's because we need the gap, but you'll see why later. Right, the slat design on this is slightly different. Again, 9mm. The piece I've got here is 48 centimeters long and 14 centimeters wide. Right, before we assemble this, I'll show you how it's going to work. That will basically sit like so. 
and these will just be there to space it out. We'll see why later on the board. But they just sit there on the ends. Right, slight problem. Once you fold this down, I'm hitting just there. So what I'm going to do is probably cut that bit off there. 